Last week, it seems like there was just a parade of strong to severe thunderstorms marching their way through north central West Virginia. And yes, that was true. But did you know that all those storms had the same structure? They're known as mesoscale convective systems or MCS for short. And by definition, this complex of storms is simply a complex of thunderstorms, which becomes organized on a scale larger than individual thunderstorms and can normally last for several hours. And as you take a look at that satellite image, you just see the size of those storms taking up the eastern half of Texas. This complex can also travel for hundreds, if not thousands of miles. And as the definition suggests, sustain itself for several hours. So just how do these massive systems form? Well, they're actually most active at night and in the early morning hours, which may seem odd, especially given what you know about how thunderstorms develop. But what happens is the cooler air near the ground interacts with a warm and humid layer that's about 1500 feet above the surface. That's known as the low level jet and where these two competing air masses collide, new thunderstorms begin to develop just further feeding this complex, this massive complex of thunderstorms. And with MCSs, the primary threat is for flooding rain, damaging wind and intense lightning rates. And some of these stronger MCSs can eventually become derachios, which we know plenty about here in north central West Virginia. As three years ago today, that derachio moved through our area. So now you know, for 5 News, I'm meteorologist and Jill Swed.